Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. It's Monday. Yep, that's right. It's Monday and it's time to look at a deck of cards. Did you know that when I started this channel way back when it started off as a deck review channel, I just opened uh, the cards that I had in my closet, in my collection, and I just started going through them deck after deck because I wanted to show off my collection because I've been a card collector all my life and I wanted to educate, tell people about playing cards, share my knowledge, if you will, uh, get the information out there because as a card magician, I use playing cards all the time and I want you to have the best cards that work the best for you. I want you to have cards that look great, cards that feel great, cards that perform great. So you can always come back here on a Monday and I'll be going through one of the latest and greatest. So if you like playing cards too, hit me up with a like and a follow and a subscribe. Hit all those buttons, you know the drill. Today we're looking at the Invisible Aqua playing cards from makeplayingcards.com. What is the Aqua deck? Well, you probably can't see it uh, from where you are or with the camera right now because the cards are all inside the tuck case. But this is a transparent deck of cards. It's a completely invisible deck of cards. Um, that means there's no back design right? Because it's invisible. So you can only, only have uh, the card faces. If they printed the backs, then you wouldn't be able to see through them. It would, it would be really a mess, right? So uh, they all have card faces, standard card faces, standard NPC card faces, and then blank backs. So because it's invisible, it's really hard for me to show you what they look like on camera, right? I'm going to do my best. I'm going to do my best uh, to show you everything. We'll start with the tuck case and then work our way over into the cards and... We'll see what happens. All right, so the uniqueness and the difficulty with this deck is gonna to be to try to show it to you so that you can actually see what it looks like. So I'm gonna be constantly tipping it against the light so that you can see the embossing because uh, invisibleness doesn't really show up on video very well. It says NPC up at the top. You have that uh, spade logo. And then over here in the corner, you can see it says Aqua. This side says make playing cards dot com. This side says Aqua playing cards. The bottom has some ad copy there about MPC. The top has an original MPC tuck seal. The very top, uh, I believe says make playing cards and it says 1982. And then the back design is a King of Hearts reveal. That's everything I can say about the tuck case. Let's take a look at the cards. With this deck, you're going to get three extra cards. Man, this looks so funny. Uh, one of them is a double blank, which is really a blank card, really. This is just a blank uh, piece of plastic. And then your other two are uh, jokers, and you can see them right there. It's a jester wearing a jester's cap. And uh, yeah, you only get three cards. Uh, as extras with MPC because MPC is the China printer. China printers don't always give you uh, four extra cards like American printers. Your Ace of Spades has the MPC Ace logo right there and it says MPC up at the top and the bottom says makeplayingcards.com. Also when you get these cards out of the box you'll notice that they're not in new deck order as probably another um, 
result of being a China printer. So they actually go in pip order. So they go uh, ace, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, jack, queen, king, all the way through that way. And they group them in groups of four. And then they're in suit order of heart, club, diamond, spade. So this is what the deck looks like. It's really hard for my camera to focus um, on the cards because my camera doesn't know what it's looking at. <laughs> it's trying to like uh, grab my fingers, but then every time I hold a card out, like, you know, it goes right through it. So uh, yeah, these are made from premium transparent plastic stock and it has a high gloss transparent raised boss effect on the top so that you can actually feel which side is which, right? So when you feel this side, you're like, okay, this is the face. So this should be the face of the card, see? And I can feel that. The other side is just smooth. So that's the back, but there's of course no back design because they're transparent cards. But the cool thing about this deck is it does have a beveled edge, which is good for cutting and shuffling. And that also means it's not gonna clump on you. Uh, some plastic cards like this, they clump when you glide them across. So these should still uh, fan well and they should spring amazingly because they're always gonna retain their shape. You should be able to like bend these as far back as you want, right? And it's still gonna snap back. It's still gonna pop back and retain its shape. Plus the fact that they're completely plastic also means that they're waterproof. Normally in a deck review like this, I'd hold the cards up and I'd show you what they look like. Um, like that's the king of spades and I can see it, but yeah, it doesn't show up on camera very well. I could show you a different card. Um, that's the four of diamonds. It really is. I know it's, it's, how do I show you an invisible deck? How do I do this? You know, you know what I would do with this deck? You know what I think this deck is, is perfect for? Um, Omni deck. You know, Omni deck, uh, the magic trick is usually done with a plastic block, right? Somehow the cards turned into a plastic block. Instead of just being transparent or instead of just being plastic, it turns from separate individual cards, right? Into a block. Well, why not um, have a card selected and lost? And then when you bring the deck back out, right? Your spectator's card is resting on top of this so that it looks like a deck. And then when you cut their card into the middle, they can clearly then see that it's a transparent deck. So you made all the cards go invisible, except for one card, their card. So I think Omni deck, this would be a great Omni deck because it is a transparent deck of cards instead of just becoming a, a block. It would also be a great deck to use in connection with the invisible deck, because when you do the trick, the invisible deck, you always start with this premise that you have an invisible deck of cards, right? And you say, select one, turn it upside down, whatever, but then you bring out an actual deck. How could you combine those two? How could you combine the invisible deck trick with an actual invisible deck? Because NPC's Aqua deck is the closest you will ever get to owning a truly invisible deck. Couple other things I can say about this deck. Uh, number one, the ad copy says that thickness wise, they're the same thickness as a deck of cards. Not true, <laughs> not true. As you can expect, they're plastic. Plastic and they have an embossing on the surface. So when I stick 10 of them in a caliper, it comes to 3.21. 3.21 is probably one of the thickest decks of cards I own. And then when I show you what they look like on the scale, uh, they're the heaviest deck of cards I own as well. So thickest deck and heaviest deck, plus it's a novelty um, deck really, right? So I think it'd be fun, uh, fun for gameplay. Um, hard to see, right? Because they're invisible. So hard to see, hard to read, hard to show on camera. But I can also assume they'd be great for cardistry, especially cardistry practice, because here's some cards that spring perfectly, right? They're gonna be great for practicing your springs because they're never, they're always gonna retain their shape. And a lot of times when you practice cardistry, you drop the cards on the ground and then they pick up all the lints and dirts from the ground and then they, they start, they stop spreading well. But these are plastic, so you'll be able to wipe them right off 
and go uh, right back into practice. So this might be a great deck to use as a practice deck for cardistry. So there's a couple of my ideas, but that's everything I can say about the Invisible Aqua playing cards from MPC. I, of course, got mine from Murphy's Magic Supplies. And of course, if you'd like to purchase yours, you can find them at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.